Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll lead you step by step through the ABRSM Theory Grades. We're now going to make a start on the 2016 past papers for Grade 4. There are lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets. They're available to download in US letter or A4, and they accompany each step of this series. There's also a page with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials, and you can also access information about the books that I have available. I've written how to take your ABRSM music theory exam, grades four and five this one is, there's also one for grades one, two and three and it's an exam technique guidebook and it's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to best make use of the time when you're in the exam room. So if you visit SharonBill.com it's all there for you. If you can give me a like that would be fab and subscribe to my channel to keep updated. And so now let's turn to the first section. So let's turn to page one. So we're going to be looking at paper A, the first section of this paper. I do suggest that you have a go of this on your own, first of all. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. And you're only ever writing in pencil. Have a nice sharp pencil. I use a mechanical pencil just so it stays nice and sharp. And you will need a ruler and an eraser. And so I, I hope that you've had a little go of this yourself, please do if you haven't, and then come back to the video and we'll work through this together. And so we'll have a look at this first question. So all of the questions on this first page are relating to this little extract of music here. And so let's see what the questions are going to ask us. So we need to give the meaning of these um, Italian terms. Now in the 2018 onwards exams, um, these are now going to be presented in multiple choice. But it doesn't matter, we, we can still answer these questions. It's good revision, um, so we'll just crack on anyway. It's still a value to do this. And so non troppo means not too much. Not is the non and troppo is the too much, so you need both of those aspects to get both points there. Espress is short for es espressivo, which means expressively, not too difficult to guess that. Or I suppose a, a better sentence structure would be to say with expression, so either of those will do. There's a lot of Italian terms, there's also some French and then uh, in grade 5 there'll be some French and German as well and so I really do recommend that you take your time to revise these. Maybe go back over all of your grades 1, 2, 3 and 4 and group them thematically, even colour code them, whatever it takes to help you to revise these because the list just grows ever longer. Okie dokie, let's carry on. It asks us to write as a brief or a double whole note an enharmonic equivalent of the last note in bar four. So we need, notice which clef we're in here, so we need to write an F natural, a low F natural, but we need to give um, an enharmonic alternative. So your choices there would be, we could either call it E sharp, And so as a brief, we need, and then the sharp sign. Or I suppose another answer could be um, G double flat. So that's your brief with the little two lines and then double flat. That would be the same as an F natural there. Okay, carrying on. Give the technical name of the first note in bar two. So the key is E minor, so E is the first, so first of all we need to kind of find the interval. So the first note in bar two is a C, and so if we count up from E, E, F, G, A, B, C is the sixth, and so the sixth, the technical name for that is submediant. There we go. Okay, you've got to get your maths head on for this one now. I have to do this visually because maths is not my strong point. 
How many demi semi quavers or 30 second notes is the second note of the melody worth? So the second note of the melody is a dotted crotchet or a dotted quarter note. So let's just uh, diagram that out. So I'll just mark this here. So we know that a crotchet or a quarter note divides into two quavers, four semi quavers, and so therefore it would be, I'm running out of space, so it would be eight demi semi quavers or 30 second notes. And then when a dot is half as much again, so half of eight is four, so altogether the answer would be 12, so there's the answer. Give the letter name of the lowest note in the melody. Let's have a look. So we've just got to scan through and find which the lowest note is. And just glancing through, we can see that it's that one there. And so that one, we need to answer that. It's in the bass clef. Now, if you're not very comfortable off the stave, let's count up an octave, including this interval. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Takes us to here. Good boys deserve. And so we know this is a D, but an octave lower. So there's our answer, D. Okay, this last one on this question. Rewrite bars seven to eight using notes and a rest of twice the value. So we've got to double everything. Remember to include the new time signature. So first of all, let's see what time signature we've got. We've got common time, which is four, four. So we're counting four quarter notes or four crotchet beats per bar. And so to change to doubling that, you never change the top number. And so our time signature now will be four, but instead of quarter notes, it'll be half notes or minims. So our new time signature will be four over two. That's that one then. And so now we've done the thinking really. We just got to copy this out, but double the values. So that will be a crotchet rest now. These will be crotchets, so we won't need to beam those at all. That will be a dotted minim or a dotted half note. That will be a crotchet or a quarter note. And these will be um, semi briefs, won't they, if we double those. And so we've just got to place those new time values on the relevant pitch. So I shall just glance at the top and copy those now. You won't be able to see the comparison, but you'll see it on your booklet, I know. So there's our crotchet rest or quarter note rest. So we've got, I'll just do the note heads first. We've got an E, G, oh, I think I'm getting a bit spread out there. I'm going to lose space, E, G, the E doesn't need colouring in because that will be a dotted minimum or a dotted half note. F, F again, and then A. So they are done. They don't need uh, stems at all because they are semi briefs now or whole notes. And here they will be crotchets or quarter notes, that's a dotted half note or a dotted minim, crotchet or quarter note, there we go. And so let's just check that our time signature does work. We've got one minim beat there, two, three and a half, four, one, two, three, four. So yes, we know that fits correctly. Super. Let's move on to the next page. Now, in the new 2018 onwards exam papers, there will not be... Um, the question asking us to write a four bar rhythm or alternatively to write um, a rhythm to the words here, that none of that will be on the paper. It's in your old theory and practice workbooks and it's still a benefit to have a go at a few but this isn't on the exam paper and so we can just skip this page and move straight on. And so 
let's have a look at this next question. And so it's a similar style of uh, question to the one we've just done, where all of the questions are going to be relating to this little melody here by Chaminade. And so we've got a little bit more Italian to um, answer here. And again, as was said before, this will be in multiple choice on the new exam layout. However, it's a value to do that. It's a good uh, revision exercise. So let's go on and answer these. If it is that you've not had a go, just have a guess and just try and answer this page on your own. It doesn't matter if you go wrong. Um, you'll learn better by having a go yourself, first of all. So I'm hoping that you've had a try and so we'll work through this together. And so pew means more. Animato means animated. You can sort of see where that word derives from. Uh, I suppose another way of saying that would be lively. And stringendo means gradually getting faster. I'm afraid there's no shortcuts, it's just a matter of revising all of these terms. Remember it's a cumulative, it's all of grade 1, all of grade 2, all of grade 3 and all of grade 4 performance directions. So there's quite a lot to go at there, so you need to get creative with your revision techniques there. Okay, so rewrite bars 5 to 6, an octave lower using the bass clef. So we've got to go from treble clef to bass clef. And so if you use middle C as your starting point, so here in the treble clef would be middle C. And so we're on the A above middle C at the moment. And so to go an octave lower, we need to start on the A below middle C. And so that will be here and then we can just work out our intervals in relation to that starting point so um, let's put it so you can see here yeah, we can just about see this is what we're relating to here so we've got the A next door upper step flattened and now, now we're going to go down a one three a fourth one three to F, so that's correct. Next door note, up in step for the next two. So we've gone G, A, B. Now we've missed the C and we've gone to the D. So that would be the middle C and we're on the D above that. And then here we're going to go a fourth high, so we're going to need quite a lot of ledger lines here. So one, two, three, four takes us to that third ledger line. Let's carry on. So we're going to go down a third. Um, yeah, we're going to go down a third to the E natural. So remove one of those ledger lines. And then upper step takes us to the F. Dot that, same again. Tied. Okay, so that's the thinking done. We've just got to add the stems. But of course now we've got to rearrange the stems because we're now above that middle line. So the stems are now going to come down. Use a ruler, I think, here. Oh, I've gone too far. Deary me. Just going into there. So this is the nice bit now. We've done our thinking. Just got to beam these together. And then that's a quaver, an eighth note. Dotted crotchet quaver. And I guess we can um, pop the phrasing in as well. So that's coming from the previous bar. And then that will go all the way to here, to the end of the bar. 
and just those two again there we go so we've been uh, exhaustive there I don't think there's much left for us to do I don't think there's anything left in fact um, so there we go that's that one done let's move on to the next question it's still relating to the above extract of music so section B question one asks us to add the correct rest or rests at the place marked with a star to complete bar six so let's have a look at bar six so before we can do that we need to first of all discover what time signature we're in four 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 crotchet beats or four quarter notes per bar so let's see what we've got so far remember we always have to finish off each beat before we move on to the next so half plus one and a half gives us two beats so that's sort of a minimum beats worth we've got a half a beat here so we need to finish that half to give us a crotchet beat before we can now add the crotchet beat rest a dotted crotchet rest won't do remember each new beat needs a new rest that's one beat that's another beat so you can't just add a dotted crotchet beat otherwise that implies compound time you've always got to show where each new beat falls so you need to do those two rests there so that's that one completed let's see what uh, number two says draw a bracket above four notes next to each other that form part of a chromatic scale and so we're going to be looking for some clues we're looking for some accidentals to show us that we're going to be going up in steps so here there's a obviously we haven't got enough notes so that won't do let's see what happens here a b flat we should have a b next so that won't do there's not enough here this bit here looks promising so let's see what we've got here now if you find this difficult to imagine just sketch yourself out a piano keyboard and you can always visualize the intervals more simply so let's see here so let's start before this sharp so we've got a G a G sharp an A a B flat there we go that's the bit that we're after so we've got four notes there that's what the question asks us it says four notes next to each other that form part of the chromatic scale so one two three four G G sharp A B flat so you look for some clues, you look for some accidental signs first and then you just have to take it from there. So then, describe fully the two bracketed melodic intervals they marked as X and Y in bar 1. So we need to describe these intervals. So let's find the intervals and then we can write them in afterwards. So X, let's count the number first of all. So 1 is the line two, three, four. It's a something fourth, so that's half the marks that you need. And then we're going from F to B flat, and so nothing's been chromatically altered, and so that's the perfect fourth as usual. But we might as well write it in, we've done the job now. Perfect fourth. Let's have a go at this next one. So here we got, we always count from the bottom note, even though it's the second note, we always count upwards. So we're counting from the D upwards. So we've got a one, two, so it's a something second. And we're going from D to E flat. Remember your key signature is active, that's an E flat. Now D to E would be major part of the D major scale, E flat has brought that interval lower and it's a minor interval so that will be the minor second, we've made it smaller, so minor second. And the last little question, name the ornament used in bar 3, let's have a look. Here we go, this little thing squished in here. Now watch out, it's got that little line through it. Without a line is an appoggiatura where we divide the values equally. However, this little line sort of crushes it. And so the classical term is achiacatura. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? Double C both times. Alternatively, you could call it a crush note which kind of makes sense, or you could refer to it as a just a grace note. 
there we go so that's a, that little bit done too so we'll leave it there for today i do hope that's been helpful to you we'll continue with the rest of the paper uh, another time thanks for watching if you can give me a like that would be fab i do hope that you're finding this useful please subscribe to my channel to keep updated there's lots more to come i'll see you next time bye